All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing all right. It's been about a month since the last video, so I thought I'd put a quick progress update. So, now I've got this overhead cupboard installed, which is really close up. Oh, let me zoom out a bit. I uh, built that like three times over. <laughs> uh, down here, the induction is installed. Pretty cool. And the microwave and all the drawers and everything done. So that's all hooked up and it works. But I can't turn it on because I need a authorized 240 volt electrician like Paul Dick to come around here and sort it out for me. Fridge is working. Cold beers, ready to go. Look at that, fully stocked. And uh, last night I put the strip lighting in. Um, so there'll be proper down lights as well. But this is just in here for a bit of ambience. And it actually it actually lights it up pretty good. And you, know, you can change all the colors and strobe and it's got a disco effect. Um, so it probably doesn't look like I've done much, but it's because a lot of this stuff is hidden behind the scenes. So I just want to show you this as well. Hold on. Probably should have opened that up first. So back here is all the charging devices. And uh, these feed into the, the two lithium batteries that are underneath there. So on the right here, you've got the isolator for the solar, the MPPT. So that's where all the solar energy goes into and then gets turned into 12 volts. This guy's for, <coughs> it runs off the engine. There's a DC to DC. That one runs off the mains, AC to DC. And you can see there, everything's fused properly. And then this device here, it's pretty cool. That uh, protects your batteries from either over voltage. So if something goes wrong with one of these things and it just suddenly starts spitting out 20 volts uh, that'll shut it off and also if you drain too much power from your batteries um, it's a it's a low voltage protector as well it'll shut off all of these devices pretty cool they hook up to bluetooth apps on your phone and give you warnings and data and all sorts of stuff so it's um they're all integrated and talk to one another as well so if your batteries are getting too hot there's a temperature sensor uh, that comes with them then they'll they'll throttle back and uh, or shut down if they need to uh, worst case, I've got, you can see there, I've got two isolators um, to shut everything down manually if I need to. So it's all coming along pretty good. Um, I haven't got the control panel in yet. It's still upstairs in my room waiting for one more part from the US uh, to be able to finish off that. And that'll have all the switches um, to control everything. And um, I've still got to do the ceiling and the fan at the rear. So that's... Um, Cutting a hole in the roof is probably the scariest part of the whole build uh, and I've left that till the end, hopefully <laughs> when I've got my best skills and training up to scratch to be able to do that part. Thanks all.